Good day and welcome to the last video of the 2024 June Numeracy exam papers called Apply Math and Stats in a Range of Everyday Situations. The paper number is 32406 and this is a unit standard means you either get achieve or not achieve. To get achieve or 10 credit, you need to fulfill outcome 1, 2 and 3 and this video will do two outcome three if you are short of outcome three so without further ado let's do question 5d 5e and 5f so we're going to start with 5d and this is how it goes okay in rugby seven players can score extra point by drop by drop kicking a goal okay so drop kick so estimate the angle this player must work with to get the ball between the two goal posts so you need to calculate this angle and is this in an estimate the answer for this paper question, it could be anything from 15 degrees to 40 degrees. If you can answer anything between 15 and 40 degrees, that will give you outcome number one. Not too bad, right? Great. Now we shall do question 5E, which is outcome number three. Okay, we shall adjust the paper. So we shall read the paper and this is about probability. Okay, so the question is, in a coin toss, Sarah usually picks head, but the last three tosses have all come up tails. Should Sarah choose head or tail in the fourth toss, or is either choice acceptable? So the answer is either choice is going to be acceptable because the chances of getting a head or tail is the same. The probability of a head or tail on the fourth toss is still going to be 0 0.5. Okay? The fourth toss is not dependent or in, in statistics it's called independent event on the previous three tosses. So if you understand this, that will be outcome number three. So without further ado, let's do the last question of this paper. The last question sounds like this. Okay, we shall read the question. Okay, the first Rugby 7 World Cup for men was held in 1993. Then there's every four years under 2022. Okay, so the question is, the table shows the placing of men's team in the World Cup since 1993. So the question is, the first and second team played in a final. The following statement was made. New Zealand has been in a final for over 60% of the Rugby 7 World Cup. Is this statement true or false? Explain your answer using the information from the table. So you look at New Zealand. New Zealand is here. Okay, New Zealand has been first, first three times and second twice so when they finish first and second they are in the final so the first and second step in the final so because they are in the final so one two three four five out of the eight tournament they are in the first and second in the final for five times so it'll be five out of eight that is 62.5 percent so the statement is is it more than 60 percent yes it is because it's 62.5 percent and so the statement is true and that is outcome number three. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we have completed the whole numeracy paper. Hope you go through every question from 1A to 5F. And if you have any doubt, please message me. And good luck in your NCA numeracy exam for 2024 at the end of the year. Cheers, everyone. And I'll see you soon.